What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Make sure to spend some time with your family and today we're gonna be spending time on our brother's four door. We're gonna be doing the full size radiator install. Normally EKs come with a half size, but we're gonna be using this for the case swap. This is a RSX full size radiator by Koyo. And normally when you buy these radiators, they don't really come with oil caps unless you ask them. So I just gave them my old spoon ra radiator cap. I think I just said oil cap, but radiator cap. So luckily we have spare radiator caps. And what we're gonna be using is the ASR lower radiator mount bracket kit that they sell. And they recently just came out with this not too long ago, I think like last year or so. And it comes with this bushing, so which just pops right in. Well, yeah, there we go comes with this and what's cool is oops this bracket that they sell you have an option of using their uh, bushings that they give you that they supply you with or using the OEM fat rubber ones which depends on how high you want to put the radiator and we're gonna figure that out once I get these brackets installed and the cool thing is they have this outer circle on it which allows the OEM bushing to sit on top and if you don't want to use that you can use this by squeezing it in the bracket with two hands of course and it does give you supplied hardware I just like how they spray this on top and it's different colors it's not like black or something like skunk 2 or something just blue and red which is cool and here's the bay fully dry my brother's taking off the tape and there are some spots that we missed but it doesn't matter we could touch it up easy and I already started drilling out the radiator brackets and had to drill out the AC brackets. And I forgot that before I take these off, I need to show you guys how I do it. And one is really easy is by drilling out the spot welds. And then once you have it all out or once you drill it all out, the bracket will come right off. But if you miss some spots, you can take a hammer with a flat and just hit it in there and it'll come right off. Really easy. And I'm about to show you guys so we can put this radiator in. And uh, yes, we are gonna get some touch of paint. I should have done it before we painted the bay, but it's fine because this is the bottom portion of the bay. You don't really look down here. And we're just gonna touch it with the Rust Oleum since luckily this is Rust Oleum with 2K clear. Easy to match. My brother decided to leave the fuse box inside the bay. We're gonna leave the battery right here also. And using the OEM booster, of course. We're gonna be keeping the heater and yeah, everything else. We're gonna be tucking the headlight harness and that'll look a lot cleaner since you don't see the headlight harness for wires running through here or, or over there. Currently inside my brother's engine bay. And there are three little dots. Those are the spot welds that from factory, they weld these brackets on. So what you're gonna do is get a slightly larger drill bit to drill those holes out. Make sure it's centered and then drill it out. Also, they do sell drill bits to remove spot welds but I don't have that and I just use this because it works it just like that uh, not the prettiest job but it works to get the brackets out and there's three one two three and another three over here it's a very easy process make sure it is centered Should be good now. On to the next one. I should be using a punch, but be okay. All right, now to the third one. Lucky. through all right sometimes you get really lucky and the brackets they'll come off right after uh, you finish doing the last hole which is what happened this one this one came out really good but 
Since it's not coming out, take a hammer to it. See? And it pops right off. So, I'm gonna hit this side now. Just like that, Let's pop another one out. Just like that. And that is what it looks like when you drill it out. And you could go through it with like a Dremel, make it smooth or anything, or fill it in. But this isn't show car. So, yep. Now I'm gonna do that side, and we should be able to test fit using the brackets or mounting the brackets, putting the radiator in, all that. But once you have all those spot wells drilled out and knocked out, or the brackets are off, what you're gonna do is just mock up. Well, I'm using the OEM bushings just so I can see where I'll sit. Grab the whole thing. And bring it close. So like that. Just make sure. So I'm guessing this is the center, so we'll line this centered with the latch. You don't look like I have enough space in the frame. I was gonna have enough space. Uh, let me just check clearance with the R6 radiator. So these brackets, they're going underneath. They're not going on top, just a heads up. But I just wanna get the right general area. So while my brother holds it, I'm gonna mark it real quick and then uh, see where we drill. So I got one bracket in. The other side haven't mounted yet because we're checking the clearance with the hood and it seems that the RSX radiator, the fill that, I don't know if you guys can see that, is hitting the radiator or the cap. So one, one thing we could do is lower the radiator a little bit more. So might use some spacers and space this out so you can see it a little bit more. But the downside is it's sitting on the frame rail which is bad because the, vib the vibrations from the motor or the mounts could cause it to uh, crack the radiator. Um, so one is we could cut this or I'm going to just get some, um, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Or just put some rubber uh, tubing right here so it doesn't vibrate as much. Um, or uh, my brother was saying that we could tilt the radiator more so it tilts a little bit forward so it clears the hood. But yeah, so one's drilled in. I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll see where we go from there, but call your rad. Cool, cool. And there we go. This is how far I'm gonna make it sit. So we just gotta get some custom brackets. Um, currently just have zip ties on it just so we can mock it up in place. And then I decided to flip the bracket using the ASR bushings with the brackets on top. Cause before it was having an issue where it was hitting the frame because the frame's bent a little bit from where you uh, jack up the car. But everything else is sitting flush. Alright, now I'm gonna put the booster back in. Uh, and I still gotta, I think this is for AC or I, I don't know. I think this is a drain. No, that's the drain. It was missing a plug right here. So I need to go find a plug and plug this up because we don't want coolant spilling out. And we do have the K2 hoses for the RSX. So this one will go up to the thermostat and this one right here will go to the upper fill neck on the K20. But slowly but surely. Um, yeah, I gotta put the booster back in. And uh, see what else I have to do. But progress, progress. Bolted the prop valve back in. My brother's tightening down the brake boost right now. And I think that's all we're gonna do for today because today is Thanksgiving. But slowly but surely, guys. Um, that's one thing after another that we're just getting done. There's a thing, I just have to cut the fuel line and then we have to put the subframe in with a new rack and pin in and then it will be ready to drop the motor in uh, after the subframe goes in. We're gonna put the subframe in 
two days from now on Saturday if it's not raining because today it was raining, which is very, very weird in California. Very easy and start using those ASR lower radar brackets and AR6 radar, just have some issues with the hood, but I lean it back a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna make some custom brackets and then it should be good to go and won't hit the hood at all. And this is the radio hose that we're gonna be using from K-Tune. It's for the RSX one, I think. Yeah, K24 EKK2. So that's what we're using. Uh, and yeah, after that, we're gonna pull the motor out, get it ready to slap it into the car. So, yeah, short video. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Don't sell this, just keep voting and stay tuned for the next batch of videos. Peace out.